Welcome to Colonel Basketball Weekly, featuring the head coaches of Nickel State University Basketball, J.P. Piper and Doobie Plaisance. Today's program is presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional, dedicated to patient-centered excellence. Colonel Basketball Weekly is also sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. You're either local or you're not. And People's Health, your Medicare health team. Good afternoon and welcome to Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. I'm your host, Mike Wagenheim. The Nichols men's basketball team had to take to the road last Tuesday for their third game in six days. The Lake Charles Civic Center would play host to the Colonels and the McNeese State Cowboys. The Colonels and the Pokes went down to the wire all three times they met last season. In fact, all came down to the final shot, including McNeese's win in the Southland Conference Tournament, which came just days after a double overtime victory by Nichols. Now with both clubs out to solid starts in Southland play, last Tuesday's contest would keep one team in the upper echelon of the league while sending the other back to the middle of the pack. Jeremy Smith came up with a monster game for the Colonels. An early three ball gave Nichols a nine point lead. Smith scored a career high 25 points on seven of 10 shooting. McNeese made a nice run to get back in it. What a night for former Colonel Keelan Garrett. He would shine against his old club, scoring a career-best 21 points off the pine. He went 4 of 8 from downtown. Liedrick Eccles, meanwhile, was a beast at both ends of the floor. The Sherry Gidry misses from inside, but Eccles takes away the outlet and lays it in. He scored 17 points, also had 5 steals. Near the midway point of the half, the Cowboys are up 4. A few minutes before the break, Sam McBeth connects from beyond the arc where he was a perfect three of three. Sammy scored 11 along with eight boards. Nichols still down three at the break. Dantrell Thomas then took over. The birthday boy lays it in. Part of an eight to one run by Nichols to start the half. Colonels up four. DT was a beast. Midway through the second, Garrett with another bonus ball. The Pokes attempted 31 threes, hitting 10 of them. That one gave McNeese a three point advantage. The lead went back and forth. Colonels down two with 20 seconds left, and Jeremy Smith gets the hoop. We're going to overtime, tied at 72. What a rivalry this has become. Into the extra session we go, and it would be Sam McBeth connecting yet again. Nichols nearly shot 50% from beyond the arc. That bonus ball puts the Colonels up 77 to 72, and DT would finish off McNeese. He can't get the runner in the paint, but is there to put it back. Danfell Thomas with 27 points, 11 rebounds, and two block shots. That last bucket put him over the 1,000 point mark for his career, the 24th Colonel to get there. What a birthday for Dan Frell. What a win for Nichols. 87 to 79 is your final. To Sharon Gidley, Lou Large for McNeese with 14 points and 14 rebounds. Nichols now 8 and 8 overall, 5 and 2 in the Southland. Here is what the Southland Conference standings look like entering the weekend. Stephen F. Austin has won 15 straight overall. They are undefeated in league play. Sam Houston State and Texas A&M Corpus Christi are waiting to strike should the Jacks fall. Nichols is alone in fourth place. Central Arkansas, Houston Baptist, and Lamar will each have to pick up the pace very soon if they have any hope of heading to Katy, Texas for the conference tournament. Well, the Nichols men's basketball team is back in action this weekend. They'll host Oral Roberts on Thursday. Tip time is set for 8 p.m. Then it's Central Arkansas coming in on Saturday. That game is scheduled for 3.30. You can hear both contests on the Colonel Sports Radio Network presented by your local Super Chevy dealers, including on our flagship station, ESPN 100.3 The Game, which can be heard in New Orleans, the River Region, and, of course, the Tri-Parishes. Thursday's game will also be aired online live on ESPN3. And our friends down under can watch that matchup live on ESPN Pacific Rim, airing in Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands. That will air at 1 o'clock p.m. AEDT, Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Folks, we will be right back with more Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. You may know Thibodeau Regional Medical Center is the only hospital in the region recognized by J.D. Power & Associates nine times. But did you know they're the only hospital in the region to receive Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award six times in a row? 
the only hospital in the region to receive nine Summit Awards, and the only hospital in the state whose cancer program has received the Outstanding Achievement Award three times? Sam's mom, Liz Dietrich, knows. Families know. Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Donnie, I'm in Rouse's at least three times a week, and I want the best prices every day. Come on, chef. Let's go shop. All right. There's got to be at least a thousand items just on this one aisle. At Rouse's, we stock more groceries than anyone else. I can see that. So what's with the tag? Best price every day. It's the Rouse's guarantee. You're getting our lowest price every day. So when I see this tag, you know you don't have to wait for a sale. I can shop any day. And get our best price every day. Rouse's. You're either local or you're not. Well, we're all about the people that we care for. Every day we find a way to make your life better, that's what we're here for. Yeah, we're all about the people. We help you take care of yourself. That's what we do. We're here for you with people's help. Nickel State University is taking education on the road, the information superhighway. If you are unable to come to campus, we are bringing the campus to you. Study at home and graduate quicker with Nichols Online. No more going to class around the school schedule. Go to class online around your schedule. All of your courses are taught by qualified Nichols State University professors who are experts in their fields. To take that step, go to nichols.edu slash nicholsonline or email nicholsonline at nichols.edu. It's the countdown to Katie. Southland Conference basketball teams are fighting for a chance to play in the Merrill Center. A league title and a bid to the big dance will be on the line. The action begins March 12th. Visit Southland.org slash Katie or Ticketmaster.com and start your countdown to Katie. Folks, welcome back to Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. Uh, the Colonel women's basketball team has also, like the men, developed a strong rivalry with McNeese State. After the Cowgirls dominated the series for several decades, Nichols swept the regular season series last year but was bounced out of the Southland tournament by the Cowgirls. The red and gray were looking for payback last Tuesday night in Lake Charles. Let's take you to the Civic Center. Imani White entered the week as a Southland's leader in scoring. She's the beneficiary of a KK Babin steal and outlet in the opening minutes. White on her way to a 22-point night in the bucket and foul. Babin filled up the stat sheet as well. Colonel's up 5-4 after the free throw. McNeese's Allison Baggett trailed White in the Southland scoring race and was nipping at her heels, but she was limited to just five points in this one, just two of 11 shooting for the field. The Cowgirls, though, start to separate around the midway point of the first half. Jalen Johnson picked up the slack for Baggett, scoring a team-high 17. She drilled the bonus ball here. Colonel's down 10 and trailed by nine at the break. But the Colonels come out firing in the second half. Babbitt cut off on the drive, but she slips through for the layup. The deficit down to five with 17 minutes to go. Nichols took the lead for a moment, but McNeese grabs it back. Cecilia Okoye puts back her own miss, plus the foul. 42 to 40 Cowgirls with 13 to go. Okoye with 17 points and 19 rebounds, nine of those offensive. About 12 minutes to go, Nichols down four. Jenny Nash intercepts the outlet pass, kicks it to White, the bonus ball, Brings the Colonels within one here. Nichols had a dozen steals in the contest. After a timeout and a stop, a chance for Nichols to go back on top. Babbitt, a big night. The cross paint scoop shot here, 45 to 44 Colonels. Babbitt with 14 points, seven boards, nine assists, five steals. She did it all. Nichols would never trail again. Three minutes to play. Jenny Nash puts it away with a three ball from the corner. That puts Nichols up by double digits. Colonels win it, 71 to 63. Nash with a career high 11 rebounds. Nichols shot 53% after the break. 
With that victory, the Colonels stand at 9-9 nine nine overall and 4-3 and in the style play. We take a look at the conference standings entering the weekend. Central Arkansas has the hot hand. They've won four straight and sit atop the conference. The Colonels will draw them on Saturday. Lamar is just a half game out. The Colonels are in a five-team pack with a four and three mark. Everyone else who is eligible for the postseason is still very much in the hunt. Abilene Christian, Incarnate Word, and New Orleans, as new members of the league, are not eligible. Nichols head coach Doobie Plazons joined us to talk about that big win over McNeese and how the Colonels now are back in the hunt for a regular season title. Incredible. It's one of the biggest rivals for us in our conference, and any kind of conference road win, road win is huge, but to win at McNeese, McNeese is a, a very, very very balanced team, balanced attack, and I'm just so proud of our team, how we stuck to the scouts, stuck to the game plan, and really did assess what they were doing on both sides of the ball and took advantage of it. It's hard to imagine. Just a couple weeks ago, you were sitting at 2-3 and three in conference. Nothing was going right. Now, with a big weekend coming up, you could find yourselves within striking distance of first place. It's amazing how quickly things turn around, but you need to take advantage of the opportunities here. Great points. The parity in this conference is incredible on the women's side, and it's it's a testament not only to the quality of players, but the quality of coaches. And this weekend coming up for us is mammoth. We have got to take advantage of, A, first of all, being at home, and, you know, they're trying to get those road wins. And second of all, it's just going to be more about us than our opponents. We have to stick to our game plan, understand the scout, and just assess. The better we are at, at Assessing what's going on on both sides of the ball, the stronger we are. And that's all predicated on K.K. Babbin and Imani White. That's head coach Doobie Plaisance. And speaking of Imani White, she has gone from reliable reserve to possibly the league's most impactful player in a matter of just one year. Alex Tellis has more. The Nichols women's basketball team has gotten quite a boost this season from the fast-paced play of sophomore Imani White. Her presence on the court, both offense and defense, has raised the bar for the entire squad. Coming off of a solid freshman season as a role player, in which she ranked in the top 15 in the league in assist and three-point percentage, Imani attributes her startling success this year to the hard work she did during the offseason. I did a lot of running, a lot of bike riding, a lot of cardio, um, and I lifted weights, so it wasn't that much on the court stuff. It was more just getting me in shape so I can last a long time. Imani has proven herself as a point guard to be reckoned with. Her game has improved in all areas, both mentally and physically. Head coach Juby plays on, sees a more polished player when Imani takes the court. The, the biggest piece of Imani's game that has really improved leaps and bounds is her decision making, which is very, very critical in the position that she's playing. Although she is leading the Southland Conference in scoring average and steals, Imani's true value as a player comes from her willingness to put the team's goals ahead of her own. The most important thing to Imani and the rest of the team is that we reach our, our goals as a team versus as individuals. Imani's you know, more involved in the team. Like she, she handles the balls more. She'll put up more points, grab more rebounds. You know, Anything that she has to do this year, she's just more involved than she was last year. Averaging 18.8 .8 points per game along with 2.7 steals, Imani excels on both ends of the court. Her maturity and development was necessary to compete at this level. Amani is so crafty and so athletic and so explosive and she really, really puts a lot of time in outside of practice and working on her individual skill sets. A two-time All-State honoree out from Archbishop Chappelle High School in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie, Imani is no stranger to hard work. Not only has she improved her game, but she has also motivated her teammates. You gotta pushes me, I guess, individually because when Amani steps up her game, I feel like, you know, I, all right, I have to step up just like her so I can help everybody win. After a strong start, Imani is on pace to challenge several nickel scoring records, including single season scoring average and points in a year. With her outstanding performances thus far, comes the pressure to maintain this level of play. Uh, it's not really pressure because it just you just have to have confidence that you can do it every night and I think that's what makes you like a good player. As the road to the Southland Conference Championship continues, it will be a whole team effort if Nichols is to be successful. 
with the skills and determination of players like Imani White, that goal is attainable for this year's women's basketball team. For Colonel Basketball Weekly, I'm Alex Tullis. Thank you very much, Alex. Folks, the Colonel women return to Stouffer Gym this weekend, and you can listen to both games on the Colonel Sports Radio Network presented by your local Super Chevy dealers. Nichols takes on Oral Roberts on Thursday at 5, then it's Central Arkansas coming in for a 1 o'clock tip on Saturday. KNSU 91.5 FM will carry both contests. And Thursday's matchup with the Golden Eagles of ORU will also be shown live on ESPN3. want to let you know you can watch each and every non-televised Nichols home game on your computer or mobile device through Colonel's All Access. Live and on-demand viewing is available with daily, weekly, and yearly rates. We even include select road games for free. It's a great deal. If you're a Nichols fan, you need to have a Colonel's All Access subscription. Log on to GoKernels.com. That's G-E-A-U-X, GoKernels.com to register today. Folks, we're going to take a quick time out. We'll be back with more on the other side here on Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. We welcome you back here to Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. Folks, it's time to announce our Rouse's Student Athlete of the Week. You're either local or you're not. Louisiana's Best can be found at your local Rouse's or at Rouse's.com. This week, it's senior guard Dantrell Thomas from the men's basketball team, who put up 27 points and 11 rebounds in the overtime win at McNeese last Tuesday, on his birthday, no less. Thomas becomes a 24th Colonel ever to score a 1,000 points in his career. Well, we take a look at what's going on around Nichols Athletics this weekend. The track and field team is at the Jeff Davis Invitational at McNeese State on Friday. We'll have more on that in a moment. That same day, the men's tennis team hosts Xavier before heading to Texas A&M for a Sunday meeting with the Aggies. Our very own Tiffany Williams takes us around the week that was around the department. This year, the Colonel baseball team and the women's track and field team are looking to start their seasons off in the right direction. Conditioning and teamwork are two key elements these two clubs believe they need to be successful. Before the baseball team embarks on a new year, this club must take care of some preseason business. Next Saturday, the team hosts its annual alumni game and first pitch banquet. This past weekend, the club hosted a clinic for local college and high school coaches. Head coach Seth Thibodeau plans to make this an annual event. The main focus was to get our guys, my coaching staff, uh, involved with the local coaches in the area um, in a baseball way, get to meet and greet each other a little bit, see us in, in action, hear us talk. Um, but ultimately, I wanted the local coaches to be exposed to some good baseball talk from, from coaches from other areas. I want, I want to uh, you know, broaden the, the horizon, so to speak, and let them hear these guys speak and let them hear them talk baseball. They can hear our voices. I want them to hear other people's voices as well, other coaches' voices that have been successful in the game. So to get the local coaches all together 
and talk baseball, you know, it was, it was a really good time for us. This year's speakers included Nichols head strength and conditioning coach Greg Carasquillo. Coach Thibodeau said Carasquillo's training has helped put the team in a better state going into this year's season. It helped our mindset. It helped create a team in the weight room. Um, it helped, you know, us prepare. Being prepared for the season, the 56-game schedule and a tough conference that we play and the schedule that we play, your body has to be prepared and your mind has to be prepared. And so um, we tried to make, take what we were teaching and, 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 and sharpen it a little bit and make it better as well. So when you combine all of those into one, uh, we feel like we're, we're ready for and prepared for the season. While the baseball club gears up for a vigorous schedule, the women's track and field season is underway. This past Friday, the Colonels competed at the Arkansas State Invitational in Jonesboro. The conclusion of this meet included freshman Kiranika Duncan setting a new school record in the triple jump. With an abundance of freshman talent on the roster, Colonels assistant coach Brent Alfred hopes the team's chemistry will continue to grow. They're, they're coming around. They're really kind of starting to gel and starting to get it and starting to take the onus on themselves to work a little bit harder. While this team prepares physically for meets at practice, School spirit is also important in keeping their positive momentum going. If ever anybody has the opportunity to come out to any of the meets that we have, we would definitely love the support. Um, our girls work really hard and train really hard. If you ever see them around campus or see them, give them a positive and encouraging word. We don't have any home meets, so it's not like some of the other sports where you can kind of come and check them out nearby. But if you see them around, just... Uh, uh, an encouraging word goes a long way from our, our fans and our student body. These ladies will compete at McNeese State on Friday at the Cowboys' second indoor meet this season. Meanwhile, opening day for the baseball team is right around the corner. They'll visit the Cougars of the University of Houston for a three-game series on Friday, February 14th. For Colonel Basketball Weekly, I'm Tiffany Williams. Thank you very much, Tiffany. We appreciate it. Folks, we'll be back with more here on Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional in just a moment's time. You may know Thibodeau Regional Medical Center is the only hospital in the region recognized by J.D. Power & Associates nine times. But did you know they're the only hospital in the region to receive Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award six times in a row? the only hospital in the region to receive nine summit awards, and the only hospital in the state whose cancer program has received the Outstanding Achievement Award three times? Sam's mom, Liz Dietrich, knows. Families know. Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Donnie, I'm in Rouse's at least three times a week, and I want the best prices every day. Come on, chef. Let's go shop. All right. There's got to be at least a thousand items just on this one aisle. At Rouse's, we stock more groceries than anyone else. I can see that. So what's with the tag? Best price every day. It's the Rouse's guarantee. You're getting our lowest price every day. So when I see this tag, you know you don't have to wait for a sale. I can shop any day. And get our best price every day. Rouse's. You're either local or you're not. Well, we're all about the people that we care for. Every day we find a way to make your life better, that's what we're here for. Yeah, we're all about the people. We help you take care of yourself. That's what we do. We're here for you with people's help. State University is taking education on the road, the information superhighway. If you are unable to come to campus, we are bringing the campus to you. Study at home and graduate quicker with Nichols Online. No more going to class around the school's schedule. Go to class online around your schedule. All of your courses are taught by qualified Nichols State University professors who are experts in their fields. To take that step, go to nichols.edu slash Nichols Online or email Nichols Online at nichols.edu. It's the countdown to Katy. Southland Conference basketball teams are fighting for a chance to play in the Merrill Center. A league title 
and a bid to the big dance will be on the line. The action begins March 12th. Visit southland.org slash katie or ticketmaster.com and start your countdown to Katie. We are back. This is Colonel Basketball Weekly presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. Folks, there are plenty of ways to keep up to the minute with Nichols Athletics. Find our new page at Instagram.com slash Colonel Sports or at YouTube.com slash Nichols Athletics, Facebook.com slash Go Colonels and Twitter.com slash Colonel Sports. And of course, for all the latest news in Nichols Athletics, check out our website, GoKernels.com. That's G-E-A-U-X, GoKernels.com. We have all the latest info up there, box scores, game recaps, rosters, bios, schedules, links to our audio and video broadcast. Everything you need to be a Colonel fan is right there at your fingertips, GoKernels.com. That's G-E-A-U-X. GoKernels.com. Folks, we got a Thursday doubleheader against Oral Roberts. The women's game on Thursday at 5, the men's game at 8 p.m., and then a Saturday twin bill against Central Arkansas. The women's contest at 1, the men's game at 3.30. We hope to see you for a big weekend of basketball coming up at Stouffer Gym here in Thibodeau. We'll talk about it on next week's show. You've been tuned in to Colonel Basketball Weekly, presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional. Today's show has been presented by the Sports Medicine Center of Thibodeau Regional, dedicated to patient-centered excellence. This show has also been sponsored by Rouse's Supermarkets. You're either local or you're not. And People's Health, your Medicare health team. This has been a presentation of the Colonel Sports Network.